The Honourable Member for Carleton. Who would bet their own money on gateway casinos? Well, it turns out nobody. Of course, the company was just downgraded to junk status, and its parent company lost 95 percent of its value on the stock market before being delisted altogether. In fact, financial experts in Toronto say the company vastly overvalues its assets. But there's someone who would invest other people's money in it. The casino just got the jackpot of $200 million from this government. With the financial genius over there who invested $200 million of our tax dollars in this failing casino firm, please stand up. The right honourable Prime Minister. While the Conservatives play silly political games, we recognize the, uh, the extraordinary situation the Canadians are facing. We're a few days away from Thanksgiving, and people are worried about whether or not gonna, they're going to see their loved ones, how they're going to make it through this pandemic, whether or not we're going to be able to gather for Christmas. And as a country and as a government, we remain focused on that. We're working with partners across the country, with premiers and uh, provinces and territories, and continue to work uh, with uh, all orders of government as we deliver for Canadians through this pandemic. Let the Conservatives play games. We're focused on Canadians. Yeah. Honourable Member for Carleton. Speaking of games, you've got to know when to hold them. <laughs> know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. And know when to swindle a naive Prime Minister of 20 to $200 million of other people's money. Because that's exactly what Gateway Casinos has just done. They can't get money from anyone. In fact, for 10 years, their owner tried to sell the company, but nobody would buy. Well, we have new job losses of 2,000 people in the energy sector out west, 500 out east, a million Canadians without paychecks since the pandemic. Why is he throwing away our money in this jackpot for casino insiders?